grandfather heard begging for help, camera caught the employee doing the worst. Today's episode shows how helpless an elderly is inside a senior care nursing home. It's sad, but the truth is sometimes families can no longer afford to provide round-the-clock care and attention to their elderly members, especially those with medical conditions. Still, the members of the family want what's best for their grandparents. One viable option is to send them to a senior care residence. The family can regularly visit their elderly loved ones while expecting best round-the-clock attention from professionals. Of course, that should be their last resort because the elderly may not feel comfortable being looked after by strangers. Unfortunately, this was the exact thing that happened to one elderly man. 89-year-old Georges Karam, who suffers from Alzheimer's disease, moved into a long-term residence in Ottawa, Canada. When his condition got so bad, he started to struggle with even the simplest of tasks. From eating to getting dressed, it was becoming a problem for Georges. It was a tough decision, and the least the family could do was find a highly established and trustworthy nursing home. Georges' family had carefully searched the internet for a home that appeared to have good reputation. Then one day, they began to notice something was off with their grandfather. The family started to suspect something was wrong when Georges had shown bruises and wounds on his body. Georges' grandson, Daniel Nasrallah, went to the facility and inquired about the injuries of his grandfather but the home staff always told him that he'd fallen out of bed. At first, the family believed it was just a simple accident. However, they became more worried as time went by because it seemed like Georges' condition was not getting any better. Daniel remained skeptical and decided to install a hidden camera in Georges' room. The high-definition video camera installed was not a secret to the staff and the entire nursing home. Workers were being made aware that the video system was being installed in the room. After the family grew increasingly concerned about the number of unexplained injuries the elderly man had suffered since moving into the residence two years ago. When the family watched the footage captured by the surveillance camera, everyone was shocked by what it revealed. One of the home's caretakers, 44-year-old Ji Zhao, was seen repeatedly and aggressively binding George's hands together. Georges, who was no longer able to talk, can be seen lifting his arms in an effort to protect himself. The video showed the elderly man lying in bed as personal support worker Ji Zhao yanked him back and forth while removing his diaper. An agitated Georges took a pair of swipes with a crippled and shaking hand at Zhao. It was after a third swipe that came closer to Zhao's face that the care worker unleashed a series of rapid punches with his gloved hand to the side of Georges' face. The sound of the fist making contact with Georges' face could clearly be heard on the video. It was heartbreaking because Georges was a senior and was vulnerable. What's worse was that Georges wasn't fully in control of his own actions because of his condition. Therefore, he's even more vulnerable. Daniel immediately called his uncle, who was the substitute decision maker for his grandfather, then his brothers. Then he headed towards the nursing home in his car, hoping to get there before the shift changed at 11 p.m. On the way, he dialed 911. They arrested Zhao on the spot, handcuffed him, and took him to the central cell block. He was also fired from the facility. Georges was taken to hospital by paramedics. A CT scan was performed, but there were no serious injuries. He eventually returned to the home. Meanwhile, the manager of Gary J. Armstrong's long-term residence has apologized for the incident and said that they do not tolerate any form of abuse. Despite the terrible experience that Georges was put through, his family decided to allow him to remain in the home after G was fired. A move to a new environment would have been too stressful for him. Now Georges' family is working hard to make changes to the long-term residence system. The system is broken and changes are required, says Daniel. This was definitely not the experience people would want for the elderly. Daniel's family hopes that this would be the last of it for Georges and all other elderly.